Well, just to give you an idea of where we are, now this is how a typical Bengali courtyard looks like and this is what they have recreated here in Mumbai. Now it's for all the Bengalis who still want to enjoy Pujo as much as they do back home in West Bengal but can't because of other commitments. So here they are all praying together to Goddess Durga for blessings and of course they are here also to enjoy the Pujo. Moving on, it's also Navratri time and Navratri may have been hit by the economic downturn but insurance companies are certainly having a good time especially since many people are coming forward to insure not just their pandals but also the participants and sometimes the insurance amount is going up to as high as 3 crore rupees. First Mumbai's most prominent Ganpati Mandal, the Lal Bagh Charaja, now the Dandia. Like everyone else, festivals too are seeking protection from unexpected disasters. That's why this festival season, insurance companies are making their presence felt in a big way. From performers doing a last-minute ditch to damage to the music system, any kind of disaster and they are willing to cover it. We understand that something can happen, so we try to insure ourselves. Looking at the demand for festival insurance, companies are coming up with innovative packages. For instance, premiums ranging from 10,000 rupees to 1 lakh, Dandia Queen Falguni Patak's show has been insured for 2 crore rupees and the Ghatkopar veterans beat us for even more, 3 crore rupees. On an average, uh, around 200 policies uh, get sold uh, between different uh, insurers in a year. And the values range from 10 lakhs to maybe 2 to 3 crores uh, depending upon the nature of the event as well as the spread of the event. What were once small community festivals have now become big businesses worth crores of rupees pushing the stakes that much higher, which is why mandals are no longer just banking on divine intervention. In Mumbai, Deepti Agarwal for NDTV.